Welcome to the launch of Surface Tension. It is prompted by a whole series of issues, concerns, and perspectives on the elusive substance that is water. We tend to uh, think of water coming in two quantities, essentially, either too much or too little. And when we have the Goldilocks approach, I, when it's about right, then sometimes it's too dirty. I think most of us are beginning to agree that the ways we use and abuse water today won't be very appropriate to the future, but what are we doing about it? selecting our works we actually think I think we have ended up with a spectrum of works that touch on almost all the aspects of water so cultural sacred technological political economic I think we've uh, we've got a work that represents many facets I don't think it would be possible to cover all of them but I think uh, we've done pretty well with it we actually eat and wear more water than we drink in fact a lot more water rather than full for fish one day these fishermen patrol for plastic. So uh, our project is all about um, transforming their existing trawlers um, into mobile floating plastic factories that trawl plastic in the ocean and then turn it into useful plastic products. I do, like, it's, it's kind of something that you would stand in front of for like minutes and minutes and just like, it's really mesmerizing and how it's backlit. Yeah, I think telepresence is really cool and the way it mirrors the water that is actually in the ocean, it's quite, quite nice. The thing that really attracted me to sort of getting involved with the show was its, involved, its science basis, but its openness about who the collaborators are, where the ideas might be found, the kind of people who've been involved, which is really rare to find an institution quite as open as that. This afternoon a journalist asked me what I hope people will take away, and it's simply that the exhibition should be a catalyst. Um, challenge us with the issues we face, but also inspire us with future possibilities. <laughs>